When cats are aggressively feeding, they routinely rise up to pursue bait fish. It's the perfect time and conditions to take that seductive strip of sushi for a summertime spin. How did he hit it, Nick? Like that. Oh, like that? You just yeah. had another one? Yeah, just another one there. See, one thing that's about this anchoring and the way this is such fast current, exactly what you're placing the bait could be really critical. Yeah. Because I'm up in about eight or nine and Nick's over there. I think he's in a little bit deeper water, so he's in a little bit of a deeper current edge in this backwash in here. You may have to move her in, move into his water or just a man. Oh, he got another one. Wow. There you go. It's interesting because you sit in these spots and where we're set up at that these fish are moving around and you'll sit still for a while and you won't get any hits. And then all of a sudden you'll see some fish so that will cycle through your area. Hey, well, buddy, come here. No, up, oh, Nick. Come on, there you go. Perfect. Look at that. Very good. I really like that. This is my, my actual, my new favorite technique for catching cats. <laughs> it, it didn't take long. I only got two bites, or actually, he's had four bites, and he's only been in the water for about five minutes. Man, them boys are tough. You get in this real fast current. That's not particularly a big cat, but I tell you one thing, you get in this fast a current, these boys are built for speed. What we're going to do is give us a little bit more line out here. So what we've been doing, we actually anchored quite a distance up. And like anything, boat control and boat positioning is real critical, even in something as simplistic as catfishing. But what we're going to do is just get off this cleat for a second or two and drop out another, you know, 25, 30 feet of line in that way we're going to more or less fish some fresh water. The other thing I can do to actually to position the boat, and we'll change positions a little bit, and I'll show you in a second or two, is to uh, swing the engine back and forth, you know, because right now we have it, the mercury just straight back. So what we're just, you know, on a straight position back, but what we can do is take the engine, kick it one way or the other, and it's going to actually swing the boat because we have like about 75 feet of line out in front of the boat. So it gives us the ability to actually comb a little bit of water without picking up repetitively and re-anchoring all the time, which is sort of nice. Go. Oh, oh, what? Oh, there you go. That's a big boy. Look at that. He's oh, one that of those is. real pretty pink ones. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is. Look at that. Ooh. Boy, that's a nice size one there. Look at him. That may be the biggest fish of the day. Look at that guy. There's another beautiful catfish. That was the biggest one we've caught so far today. That's a nice one. Big male. You know, I really learned something today. That's one thing when you get out and you spend a lot of time on the water. Today, we're using three-way rigs and spinners, and I can tell you one thing, it works for cats in fast water. How long we've been out today? Two hours. Two hours, and we boated a whole bunch of these bad boys.